China has been actively engaging in UN peacekeeping missions over the past two decades. It's part of the military's drive to build a strong army and take on international responsibilities. China has participated in over 20 missions and has sent over 30,000 personnel. Last year, there was a breakthrough as China announced it would send a 700-strong infantry battalion to South Sudan. An initial group of 180 soldiers left in January and the remaining troops will depart in March. Today in our special series, Agenda in Action, reporter Han Bing visits the training camp in East China's Shandong province. Soldiers there told him their view of the PLA's role in the 21st century. The call to action can come at any time. Here at the training camp of China's 1st Infantry Battalion to South Sudan, there is an unannounced drill every week. The rapid response exercise is to prepare the troops for any possible scenario. Ten minutes to report and be ready to go. Before I came here, I thought peacekeeping simply meant to separate two fighters or that I should stand between them to stop the fighting. But after all the instruction and training about UN peacekeeping missions, I have a better understanding. There should be no enemy you need to defeat and no land you want to occupy. Non-use of force except in self-defense and impartiality. Yang Xu says he and his fellow soldiers have taken these UN principles to heart. They are instilled through daily repeated training. For most soldiers like Yang Xu, it's their first time to take part in an UN mission. They consider it a great honor, a chance to cherish. Hello? Hello, friends. Yeah, may I come in? On-site checks are part of reconnaissance training. Training also includes patrolling, field survival, detonation checks, escort and strength, and agility exercises. All will be needed to carry out the UN mission in the war-torn country. China has been taking part in the UN peacekeeping missions for more than 20 years. But it's the first time that it is deploying the ground troops to assist in conflict zones. The previous peacekeepers are mainly medical, engineering and security corps. But the 700-strong infantry battalion is a clear sign that the Chinese army is ready to go to the front line for world peace. The commander of this mission, Yang Zhao, says the peacekeepers will be deployed in South Sudan's capital, Juba. He says final preparations are well underway and is very confident that they will accomplish the tasks set by the UN. The purpose of our army's modernization and development is to protect peace and to gain more peace. The strength of our troops can only be upgraded through different tasks and new missions. Our traditional training methods, like strict, rigorous training, are just our own methods to achieve the goals set by the leaders, to be capable of winning a war. The peacekeeping missions are good platforms for us to improve our training level. This is also a chance for us to exchange experience with other armies. Language skills are part of the training. Key sentences are needed in international situations. To many, it can be even harder than the physical training. We want to show our professionalism and a new image to the world. Training becomes more intense as the date for departure approaches. Yang Xu had never dreamed that he would serve outside the country, and he can feel the big changes in today's PLA. The road ahead for Chinese peacekeepers will be full of challenges, and they say they will move forward for their country and the world. 
下面 CCTV from Shandong Province。